You want to check the TPS on your Minecraft server, and um, if you're running a vanilla server, you simply can't. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to check the TPS on a vanilla Minecraft server. However, if you're running a server with mods or plugins, it's actually really easy. Let's start off with plugin based servers, specifically paper and purper servers. On those, you can actually just run the command right from in game slash TPS and it will work, but you will need to be opt. So go over to your server's console here and then opt yourself, which is going to be op, and then whatever your username is right in the console, hit enter, and now we're opt in game and we can do slash TPS and boom, there it is. 20 TPS is perfect for a Minecraft server. Anything below that means it's lagging, and uh, as far as I know, it can't go above 20 TPS. Now, 18, 19 TPS is still very playable, but I've seen some servers get down to 8 TPS. It's actually kind of crazy. Now, what if you're running a modded server, though? Well, before we get into that, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz says SGH to start your very own 24 hours DDoS protected Minecraft server. We can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and customize the server, but most importantly, host your server on high quality hardware. Often the reason you may have TPS or lag issues on the server is because the hardware cannot handle the server. At Simple Game Hosting, the hardware is designed to run Minecraft servers efficiently and with as little lag as possible. Plus, there's expert live chat support there, so should you run into any issues along the way, they can help you out and diagnose what exactly is going on in your server. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz slash SGH and start hosting your Minecraft server the simple way. What about mods though? Well in that case you're going to want to use a plugin called Spark. And Spark is what will allow you to use a command write in game on any of these server types from Bucket, Velocity, NeoForge, Forge, Fabric, Sponge servers, any kind of server you want you can add Spark to it. And once you add Spark to a server it's actually the same process. Except instead of just using a slash TPS you would use slash Spark TPS. So the command would be slash Spark. TPS right like so hit enter and this is what you'll see if you have spark installed on the server 20 TPS is perfect There's also the tick durations and the CPU usage about the system itself and Minecraft Minecraft is the process the system is the entire computer that's running Minecraft So there you have it That is how you can check TPS on a Minecraft server and like I said this will work as a mod on modded server So just add it to the mods folder for example on a forge server like this one You have the mods folder here. You would just add the smart mod you download it from the download page here just download forge in this case and then you would add that right into this mods folder right like so and then now once you start this server it will have spark installed and you can use that slash spark space tps command and it will return this the averages of tps here by the way is what this is so there you have it if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below enjoy being able to check your lag using tps in minecraft and we'll see you in the next video i'm out peace